An unknown hero is getting on a train, which goes to the land of bears, where the foxes can kiss you goodnight. Our hero is on his way to Slovakia. He puts his backpack on the shelf, and then he sees his hero for the first time. Like a bolt of lightning, it's love at first sight, and the beginning of their life together. They start to travel around and discover the world. It doesn't take that long, and our hero is pregnant. Together, they share their joy and happiness. But, way too soon, a big heart-wrecking moment comes. The little bundle of joy is ill, and this bundle's life is aborted. Our heroes are not losing their hope, and later, a similar situation occurs again. A second baby soon wants to see the world. All tests are looking good, and soon I am coming to welcome the world. Hey there, my name is Kubo, and I'd like to tell you something about my so far short life, and the life of my daddy, and the life of my mommy. Let me assure you, our life is not just black and white. The label for my condition is WMS. I honestly thought it meant very mighty syndrome. Actually, no one knows what it means. And so I've decided to make this video for you, to share with you what it means for me and for everyone and everything around me. WMS also means me with always bright smile, me with magnificent sport talent, me the smart kid. is true, except this shortcut WMS really means Warburg Micro Syndrome. Warburg is the man who discovered this syndrome. And that micro thing? It means that some parts of my body are smaller than usual, and will be that small forever. You want to know which parts exactly? Here we go! First of all, I have a pretty small head. Doctors call it microcephalus. Next, my legs, feet, arms, and hands too. But I think that's probably because I don't really use them much. Thirdly, I have small eyes. They all say it's called microphthalmus. My eyes have cataracts since I was born. And I just got rid of it with my first operation. Yippee! Well, ever since that moment, I need glasses. But they look cool, dude, right? And, um, I have something else small, you know, down there. MRI would most likely show some other unusual things, like more brain screw threads. But in my case, I don't think it's in my favor. Rather the opposite. Back to the point. My folks never wanted MRI for me, cause it wouldn't make any difference to my life. The question my heroes have to answer to people all the time is, what do I actually see? And just because I don't talk, it's a bit tricky to describe. Technically, my eyes are okay, but there is some lack of interaction between my eyes and my brain. Making the long story short, my brain still has not yet discovered that I have eyes and that I can see and look around. But my brain is not bothered at all about anything in front of my eyes. Don't get distracted by my catchy eyes. I can compare it to taking a snap of something or somebody. And I can live with these snaps for a pretty long time. But you want to know what is bothering me a lot? I just cannot. No way know how sit. And that's caused by the central hypotonia I have. So I need a special chair and walker. From time to time, I already turn from my back to side or even to my front. And those are the glory days I celebrate. I'm quite an addicted fan of these times. My mommy is practicing a special physiotherapy with me. It's called Voita's Method. We practice daily and it's mega exhausting. But they say it's the only way I can properly eat everything I want. And this means a lot to me, cause I love food. 
And also thanks to this exercise, I'm able to still well breathe on my own. And I don't need a supporting machine. And if somebody tells you I'm going to get better, don't believe in it. It just won't. Pity? Disaster? Horror? You want to say, no, not at all. I don't see it that way. I live, and it's a fulfilling life. Doing sports, breathing in a wonderful life, and breaking all the established conventions. I'm no shy indoor puppy. I'm a mountaineer, traveler, and fearless explorer, a curious botanist, sometimes even a playboy. Okay, sure. Here and there, I'm a minion, too. I'm sometimes even a dandy. I'm Kuba, and I'm awesome. Hey, friends, don't be mistaken. I would never have come this far if I wouldn't have had these two heroes of my own, my mom and my dad. Respect. They didn't give up on me. I can do and share everything with them. I'm thankful for all of their smiles and tears. I want to thank them for my life. Yeah, sure, like every kid. Sometimes parents make me mad, but I wouldn't change anything. Life is a state of mind. It is WMS, I am WMS, Warburg Micro Syndrome.